Hey guys, happy holidays. I love December because, well, for what? Excuse me? It's my birthday month, so that's kind of exciting. I'm feeling 22. I am excited about my birthday, but just not as excited, obviously, as other years because I can't be with all of my friends at once, and yeah, I just can't celebrate with all of the people that I love. But I'm gonna celebrate with my parents and Barrett, and we're gonna play a board game, and it's just gonna be chill. It's gonna be fun, relaxed. That feels like what 22 should be, honestly. I mean, 21 was super fun, and we went out and did karaoke and stuff last year, so I'm ready to take it down a notch this year. It's fine. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to start wrapping some presents, which is really fun. I love wrapping gifts. My mom says every single time that I give her a gift, she's like, the wrapping job on this is not amazing, which, Yes, I don't think that I've really pushed myself. I just feel like I have a lot of un untapped and unharnessed potential and I could be like a very good gift wrapper. I'm gonna try to step up my game this year. I want to do super simple, like just brown paper wrapping and I'm actually gonna use, this year I'm gonna use Whole Foods bags, which I'm sure you've seen a lot of people do this, just reusing grocery shopping bags because some grocery stores haven't been letting you bring in your own reusable bags or if you get delivery you get these bags so it's a great idea to just recycle them and use them for gift wrapping and it's great because on the inside of the whole foods ones it doesn't have any print so super easy to then use for wrapping paper. I'm gonna start by wrapping this book. This is not a tutorial because I've never done it before. You're just here to watch me either succeed or fail. Here's my first wrapped gift. I think it came out really cute. The key to using these grocery brown bags as wrapping paper is all you do is you cut down the side and then you cut out this bottom part completely. And then it unfolds into wrapping paper, basically. You can actually use that bottom part for a little gift if you want. But yeah, I think it came out really cute. So I'm gonna listen to my Dolly Parton Christmas album because I can't listen to it when I'm, filming because copyright and <laughs> then go wrap the rest of my gifts. Baby. A couple drops of this. Start with some ice. A little less than a shot of vodka. Or you can make this a mocktail. And then a couple drops of lingonberry juice concentrate. And then sparkling cranberry juice. And then sparkling water. What are you making? Christmas saffron buns. We make these every year for Christmas. They're basically, if if you don't know, they're a Swedish kind of like breakfast bun, wouldn't you say? Yes. And I'm making Marcus Samuelson's recipe because I love his the best. It's basically a really yummy little saffron roll. yellowish dough. Yeah, the key ingredient is the saffron, which I feel like a lot of people don't, probably wouldn't know what saffron is, but they use it a lot in Swedish cooking. They do, but they also use it in uh, Moroccan cooking and uh, Indian, Indian too, right? Yeah. And, yeah. This is what they're gonna look like, hopefully. <laughs> Carla? Let's hope. <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, Doug, let's get your live reaction on camera. Christmas saffron buns by Carla Knight. Delicious. <laughs> this is like an advertisement. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Very good. good. Love it. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Shut up. Bye. <laughs> Hi. I'm doing me makeup. Got a sample of this because I ordered something from Sephora. Kush Mascara from Milk. I actually really like it. I have class in 30 minutes and then I have an audition. So that's why I'm putting on some makeup. It's not like I, I don't put on makeup to go to class. I think maybe the first two days I actually put on like an outfit and now it's just different variations of sweatpants. This is my last week of school for the semester. That means my first semester of my last year of college. It's almost over. It's like so crazy. It's just interesting though, like time flies, but also, I don't know, when college ends, I also feel like you're kind of ready for it to end in a sense. It's just weird. Whenever something ends, it's like the end of an era, but I'm not done yet. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I have one more semester. Right now it's Tuesday, December 15th. I finished one of my final papers yesterday. It just feels good when you accomplish something. It's just such a rush. You guys, I wanted to show you. I know it looks ridiculous, but I'm in love with these things. Free People so kindly sent me a box of stuff and they sent these just huge scrunchies and it's like the softest material. They're kind of like, almost like sweatpant material or something. And if you think this one's big, he sent me this one, which is even bigger. But this is so great for putting my hair up before I wash my face. This is what I've been doing is just going like, like this. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. I'm like Cindy Lou Who. It just really like gets everything out of your face. Also, it's good if you don't want to wash your hair, but you want to take a shower. It just like keeps everything up and I don't think it, you know, crimps your hair or anything. I also sent kind of a silk one, which I actually think would be great for kind of like a holiday hairstyle. Like something like this. You know, it's kind of pretty. These are just something, you know, it's like something you'd never knew you needed. Seriously need some dry shampoo though. It's not okay. Does anyone else just really let their hair go for as long as they can without washing it? Cause I do. Using this dry shampoo for dry shampoo foam from Way. I don't even know if I'm putting dry shampoo right. Like, is this the right way to even do it? I don't know how I feel about this dry shampoo. I feel like I've used better ones. I think the ones that are spray are better. What even is dry shampoo? Oh, <laughs> I think that was too much. Let me get dressed. I'm back. I'm gonna paint my nails. I'm using one of our new G Polish colors from the 2021 collection, our New Year's collection. This is Sparks, if you haven't met her yet. It's the prettiest gray that also has a hint of shimmer. You can see it right there. Sometimes I feel like I want a little bit of glitter, a little bit of something special, but I don't want like too much glitter. I really feel like that TikTok that's like, what Genevieve thinking about? I'm thinking about how lunch is the worst meal. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're like a lunch lover, but eat lunch, I'd rather skip over lunch and just go right to dinner. Anyone else agree? It's just cause it's like the most boring. Unless you have like a really yummy sandwich or something. Love breakfast, love dinner. Dinner is like where it gets crazy, you know? Like dinner, you can really have fun. And same with breakfast. It's like, do you want to go sweet or savory? There's so many options. And then lunch, it's like, ugh, do you want a salad or a sandwich? I don't know, neither. Anyway, thanks for coming to my TED talk. Okay, I finished my nails. This is Sparks from our New Year's collection. And it is just so pretty, you guys. I'm obsessed. Just like a really subtle sparkle, but it's really this like pretty metallic-y gray. I'm just so in love. This is up now, so you can order this and the Sister Shade Champagne. I just feel like we need this. We need some cute nails to go into 2021 with. I'm so over 2020. I just, I'm ready to leave it behind. Let's move on. Let's have a great new year. It's also just a great year round shade. If you just want a little sparkle, just something fun. Like when you look at your nails and you're like, ah, oh, so cute, you know? Did I mess it up again? Yeah. Yeah. No, damn it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. She's having a little piece of something or other. It's our other dog. Our most well behaved dog. <laughs> <laughs> I got socks with the dogs on them. There's Shumai. There's Shumai. There's Nellie.